Oh my Disney, do we have a great haul today. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Christina Kay, and I'm going to show you some of the Disney gifts that I got from my loved ones this holiday season. Normally I show some of the gifts I give to them. Didn't have time for that this year and there was just too much. Once it came into the apartment, it had to be wrapped and put under the tree because it was just a lot. But I will link up in the eye and down below some of the goodies that I got at Walt Disney World so you can kind of see what some of the merch was like. Uh, if any of my loved ones that gave me these gifts are watching, thank you so much. And to you guys, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope it was a great one. Okay, let's get into it because I don't have much time before torrential downpour starts and work begins again on my apartment. So a lot of the things that me and my sister will gift to each other, we already know about. Like usually every year, actually, where is it? Where is it? It's tradition <laughs> that we gift each other a calendar. So we actually got this 2024 Walt Disney World calendar in August. Uh, we were there for a broadcast and they were just putting it out. Now, when we were there a few weeks ago, they didn't have the calendar anymore, but they had a bunch of new merch in this kind of uh, design. Let's open it up and see some of the the ones. I also got a 2024 calendar in Disneyland. That one's going to be for my desk at work, but we always do the Walt Disney World ones to each other. Like we know about it. It doesn't count in our, <laughs> in our budget. Um, it's just a, a silly tradition that we started that, uh, yeah, if I can open this, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if um, the sound and lighting, did I already say that? If it looks a little weird, I'm filming on my phone because I didn't have time to set up my camera. Usually that's the only thing we know about, but not this year. <laughs> this year, there was more than that. Like, oh my gosh, we had so much fun on our Disney trip. All those December videos are going to be uh, down below. We had so much fun and we went to World Showcase and we either bought food or merch or both in every country and Germany knocked it out of the park with their Christmas decor and I was buying this mug for me and then my sister was like as we got closer to the register she's like no I really want it too let's give it to each other for Christmas so we can justify it what an amazing mug I believe it says Merry Christmas in German if someone knows German can you let me know what that says down below but this scene with the characters Goofy and later Hosen with his Christmas Carol book sold me. They had so much in this. They had ornaments in this. They had uh, towels. They had, I think like a runner for your table. And then it says Germany on the bottom and on the back it has like all the German toys. I'm a huge fan of toy soldiers and nutcrackers. Well, certain nutcrackers. So this was amazing. And guys, the best part, it's dishwasher safe. I wanted this mug so much I didn't even check, but that's usually a big rule for me. And it was, I used it on Christmas, washed it. It's amazing. So yeah, this is one of my favorite things that I got for Christmas, for sure. So my sister's gonna join me in a video coming soon. We're gonna answer a lot of questions you guys had about our trips this year, all that jazz. One of the many trips we got to go on was Aulani. I am so grateful that Disney invited us back. We had an amazing time. I actually loved it even more this year than I did last year, but the merch wasn't as stellar as it was last year. I think a lot of it was the same. We found this at the Polynesian in Walt Disney World at Boutique, which, crushed it with merch this trip and this is an Aulani Turvis big Turvis fan so we got these for each other as well it's a Christmas Turvis but it's like Hawaiian Christmas which I really loved Melikalikimaka which is Merry Christmas in Hawaiian they're so cute the palm trees decorated it does say Aulani uh a Disney resort and spa Ko'olina Hawaii on the bottom loved the colors of it it just we had to get them I'm pretty sure they have this in Aulani too, 2023 there on the pineapple, but uh, we don't have access to that merch because we live 11 hours away on a plane. So <laughs> it can only go once a year. Um, hopefully we'll get to go again next year. So yeah, this is another fave. Okay, just warning you guys right now, I did forget quite a few of the gifts, but this is one of those things that me and my sister each gifted to each other. Um, we went to the Wilderness Lodge this trip. It was a memory. Um, her dog Randy looks like Miko and I also love Percy. So we got the gingerbread house pin like that. So like I said, some of the, um, some of the gifts are missing, but we'll just do a part two in January. That's all. 
it is very hard to get each other gifts when we're doing these broadcasts because we're basically together the entire time. And if you don't know, broadcast is when I get invited down for work and I do my radio show or we do a social media thing or both. <laughs> um, and we're kind of always together because she doesn't work for my radio station, which we'll explain in that video, but she works for me on those trips will explain in the video. So it's very difficult to, to get, you know, Christmas gifts on those trips. However, I went to a tour of the Vacation Club Villas and it was just me and my coworker, Mike, that were invited to that. So my sister had some free time and she found this. And how, how I did not see this in the store blows my mind. So if you watch the Alani vlogs, you know I am obsessed with Olumel. Seeing him was incredible. That video is up in the eye and down below. He was a highlight of the trip and he's so cute. And I didn't love any of the Olu merch on the trip, which I did find something really cute Olu that I got in December at the Polynesian. So again, that haul is down below. But my sister found this and I am so jazzed. I knew this existed because I'd seen it on eBay, but I could never justify buying it. She got me the Olu Alex and I so cute. I don't usually wear my Alex and Anis on the video because they do make a lot of noise, but I do love my Alex and Anis and Olu is so stinking cute. How she pulled this one over, I will just never know. And on the back, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the Aulani logo and it does say, uh, no, it doesn't say Aulani, it just says Disney Alex and Ani, but it has Olu Mel and the Alani logo, which is so very special to me. I so badly, the past two times we went, wanted some kind of jewelry that was Alani specific, but I didn't love any of it or it was so expensive. So the fact that I have this, it's such a memory for us too. I actually picked this up when I was in Walt Disney World, but my mom didn't get a chance to come with us. So she's like, I wanna give this to you. I wanna give this to you. It's the perfect ornament for me. This is part of the play in the park line, which is killing it right now in the parks and on Shop Disney. It is goofy. It's a lightweight ornament, which I love, but this goofy, it screams me. I mean, he's got all these snacks in his hand, a Dole Whip, popcorn. He's got a shopping bag, which that's me. <laughs> his park ticket, an autograph book, a uh, flag. And then he's just like in his park attire, the sneakers, the everything. Oh, so, so cute. When I saw this, I had to get this. And they had a version of Donald that I got for my sister for Christmas, but this goofy one, are you kidding me? And again, this is part of the play in the park line, which I am in so much trouble and I have more that was gifted to me. Actually, you know what? Let me just show you the rest of the play in the park stuff I got and then know that there's more coming in a haul soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> I have a very dear friend of mine who works for Disney and was able to, while they were putting these out, snag one for me and I think the placement is pretty perfect for me so thank you you know who you are oh, this might be the greatest lounge fly this is incredible I am such a sucker for characters in the ride vehicles so we have Minnie and Mickey on the teacups we've got Daisy frolicking you've got Donald on Astro Orbiter some of the bottom parts here are a little cut off, but the pocket, oh my gosh, them in the Haunted Mansion, that's me and my sister. Then on Pirates, do you see Donald's patch? <laughs> it's so cute. Then that's the Goofy that's on the ornament. We've got like Tower of Terror and the castle tickets. Uh, Chip and Dale trying to see if they're the right height for the ride, which was me and my sister back in the day. So cute. Mickey on Astro Orbiter. I mean, it just continues. I love that we've got Epcot, Pluto. I'm sure this is a really hard bag to find placement in. Perfect Goofy. And then it's on the back as well. So great. And I love the colors of this. I cannot wait to use this in a trip. Hopefully coming soon. Hopefully soon. Stay tuned. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, is the zipper. Oh no, how cute. So the one I saw online must have been the Disneyland one. The zipper pull was like a Mickey ear hat, but this actually is super cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the tickets. The theme park tickets. How great is that? Sorry, some of the, the wrapping still on there. Fantastic. Well done, Disney. This line. Chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. And then she also got me this to go with it. It is the rain jacket. If you saw 
in August, we it was either 108, 108 degrees with the sun blaring on us or it was torrential downpour. So she thought of me and got the play in the park matching um, rain jacket. Yeah, is it loud? Yeah, do I love it? Yeah. My only concern is that it is a little thin. So it's only lined like on the hood. We'll see though. And do you see the zipper on the back? It actually folds up so you can put in the lounge fly. Thank you, Disney. That is brilliant. I love this so, so much. We actually got my dad the button up of this because uh, we knew he would love it. Oh, this is something, okay, I gifted this to myself, but I did gift a version of this to my sister and I wanted to show it now because, you know, Christmas is <laughs> winding down. We went to Jollywood Nights, that video will be up in the eye and down below, and had an amazing time, but the merch, no, it wasn't great. So I saw this on Etsy and I'll link the shop down below and I got this Jollywood Nights shirt because this was like the highlight for us was this show and that was the logo for the Holidays in Hollywood show such a soft shirt i opted for the like slate gray so cute even if you didn't go to jollywood nights i feel like that is a really cute print we love the muppets so we had to show them some love i went to very merry and i went solo but i did get to meet up with some friends while i was there and my friend um brandon who i think he was in the vlogs i think he was in the vlogs um i met him in aulani last year for the broadcast he was broadcasting at the table next to me and he got me this ornament which if you guys know i have been talking about how much i wanted the ornament but i didn't get it and they didn't have it on this last trip it is the lamps that are in the room at aulani such a thoughtful gift it does light up but i'm not going to take this out i'll show you next holiday season it's got the aulani logo this is the exact lamp it is so cool it is so expensive to buy the lamp. My sister <laughs> just wanted to get it to me, give it to me on multiple occasions. But first of all, I have no room for it. So the fact that I have this ornament is so awesome. Love it. The Disney ornaments lately, killing it, killing it. Okay, I got some pins. This is the, what do they call this? The supporting rolls line, which I really, really love. And this is from Return of the Jedi. So C-3PO is probably my favorite Star Wars character, but I love that we have him here with the Ewoks and R2. I can't see with the glare, but I know there's other characters in there. Can you guys even see with the glare? So this was a gift from one of my coworkers, as was this Marvel pin. And it's from the original Avengers, which is one of my favorite movies. And I love how it is like the poster, but then Tony Stark is like in pin form. And this is really special to me because I did meet Chris Evans, Captain America this year. <laughs> One of the highlights of my year. Uh, that Comic-Con vlog will be up in the eye and down below. He was so nice. I'll tell you stories about that in that video with my sister. We've got this Disney 100 water bottle. I don't know what brand this is. Does it say a brand? Zach? Um, One of my coworkers got me this. Goofy. Love all the assortment. Of characters and this is very lightweight now i get there's no liquid in it yet but here we do and louie but i feel like this would be a really nice lightweight water bottle so classic and i love the colors of it oh and it's dishwasher safe yay and i love that you can hold it like this awesome uh disney 100 notebook that went with that the softest disney 100 pajamas with just the fab characters and what i love is that they have pockets they are so incredibly soft i've been so excited to wear these i'm getting rid of a lot of my older pajamas so i have a pair with goofy on it that is so old it has to go that i'm excited that this has him on there because it's so cute i love it that was a nice little 100 gif oh and this peter panty which i was told came from five below this is going to make a great pajama shirt it says take me to neverland oh peter pan's flight is my favorite disney attraction if you didn't know so this gives me those vibes i love it it's a nice black shirt their t-shirts are great for pajamas so great oh we've got another pin right this i think she said was from box launch i had never seen it before but it's an ugly christmas sweater with goofy and max and this year was max filled for me so it's so very special it's a lounge fly pin. I'm pretty sure she said it was box lunch. Oh, we have another pin that my friend Matt picked up for me um, when he went to Disney last year. And I'm just getting it now. 
<laughs> it was the 20th anniversary of Imagination. Well, that glare is something, huh? Love figment. Then we've got another Disney pin gift. Doesn't Minnie kind of remind you of the tightrope girl from the Haunted Mansion here? The outfit gives me those vibes, just saying. <laughs> but this was one of the holiday pins, and I didn't really pick up any of the generic ones this year. I didn't love a lot of them, but this one was super cute, but I bought so many pins. If you saw the haul, you know. <laughs> and then she also got me, which I am freaking out because I wanted the shirt so bad last holiday season, and she got it for me. It's Minnie and Daisy singing Christmas carols. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of me and my best friend, Alyssa. We were in choir together in elementary school. We love Minnie and Daisy. I saw a lot of people wearing it on this trip and every time I'd be like, yep, that was the shirt last year. But now I have it. It's a little big, but I'd rather it be big than small, quite honestly. Sorry if I'm rushing. I just got a text that they're here to start work, so. <laughs> um, then I got this mug, which also reminds me of my best friend, Alyssa. It's a Queen of Hearts mug. Do you love that the handle is the flamingo? We've got the Queen of Hearts, Cheshire, the King, and painting the roses red is one of just my favorite things ever. So this is oh, so, so cute. I can't wait to start using this and go to Disneyland because this reminds me of the Alice in Wonderland attraction, which is a fave. Wrapping up with Jim Shores and a Brito. So <laughs> you guys probably make fun of me every year at this, but Randy, our Chihuahua, gifts thing we give things to him for christmas and he gives things to us and it's become just like a thing with me and my sister that randy will give me these little burrito statues that kind of represent him and i'm in my winnie the pooh era right now and just the way that eeyore is laying on this is just very very randy so cute eeyore was always my favorite winnie the pooh character the way his arms are crossed randy does that with his paws i love the purple these are one of those statues you either love or you hate. I absolutely love them. And then the way his legs are sprawled out in the back, like just so Randy, so cute. So I can't wait to add this to my little collection. She's always so thoughtful in the ones that she picks. This is one of the faves for sure. I don't think I have any Winnie the Pooh Brittos and I really wanted one. Then we have two Jim Shores. And I'm going to do close-ups of them because I don't want the lighting to distract from this at all. The first one is a Christmas one and is so appropriate because we've seen Stitch on basically every trip this year. But Santa Stitch, have you ever seen this one? If Tim and Johnny from the Game Boys are watching, did you know this exists? You probably have this, but I didn't know this one existed. And this is from the UK, actually. She got it. So appropriate. Also, last year, this was me rapping when I only had, I could only see out of one eye. <laughs> And then like, it's just, it's an inside joke all around. This is such a stinking cute Jim Shore. Very, very thoughtful. But this one, y'all, this probably is my favorite uh, gift. It's definitely my favorite Jim Shore that I own. When we went to Disneyland this year, I was so excited to go on Pirates of the Caribbean because they have one of my favorite audio animatronics that we don't have in Walt Disney World, but he was missing. And then I went on this whole thing like, I should have gotten the Jim Shore back in the day when they had it. And she found it. And I know it's not cheap, but she found it and worked her magic. He's on the cannon. I could almost hear him in the background, like singing. That is my favorite at the end of Pirates when you're just about to go up the hill and you see him. Oh my gosh. I was so blown away. I was not expecting this in a million years. I mean, I've looked in the store the past couple of times. I feel like we went to Disneyland and they didn't have it. But I am so excited that I have it and it's going right next to my other Jim Shores that I have from Disneyland. I am just blown away. I know I'm probably forgetting some of the gifts, but don't doesn't mean that I didn't love them. They're just not in my pile and I have a lot of work going on here. So I will show those in a haul coming soon. We're going to recap the year, kind of tease what's coming in 2024. Lots of magic, lots of Disney magic. Um, and don't forget to say hi on TikTok and Instagram too. I've been having a lot of fun on there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season and I hope that 2024 is off to a fantastic start for you and it's gonna be your best year yet. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day. This was a good last item to show for the year because it's probably one of my faves. <laughs>